my channel. Today we are participating in the Christmas wrapping challenge. We are super excited. Um, I love kind of collecting wrapping paper. I'm not the best wrapper, but I do love wrapping paper and all the pretty colors that it comes in. And I love a beautifully wrapped gift. It really makes the package, I think. So I'm going to turn you around, show you all of my beautiful wrappings that I love, and then we'll just go ahead and get started. This um, challenge is hosted by Danielle's Decor and Deco Easy, so be sure to check out their channels too, and I just want to thank them for um, hosting this challenge for us, so let's go. Okay, so I got all of my wrapping that I kind of thought I might use um, for this. I have my bows here, and then in this bin is where I just keep all of my bags, ribbons, name tags, any kind of little um, card keepers or, um, you know, like gift card wrapping, that kind of stuff in here. Um, so I've gotten some few new ones this year. Y'all know my love for the flamingos and the cactuses. So these are new. These two, I think I must've gotten on clearance last year. Uh, the penguins. And then these are little snowmen. I've had this forever from Hobby Lobby. I'm talking about like maybe even 10 years y'all, but I love that. All of these are really old from Hobby Lobby, but um, I had gotten several rolls and their rolls are so nice and big so you can use them year after year. But I just love the pink and green. If you didn't already know, that is what I um, use for my decor is pink and green with some hints of kind of this tealy turquoise color and just the bright fun colors is what I use. So that's what I wrap with too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some packages going and get some stuff ready. We have a Chris, our first um, official family Christmas party tomorrow, so I've got lots of gifts wrapped for that. So um, I'm going to just um, go get that and get started. Okay, I have my um, oldest little nieces here on that side of the family all wrapped. She's going to love these little flamingos, I think. So she's very girly and fun. So um, I'm going to, uh, the only tip I have, which everybody probably knows, is just to crease all the corners really well. I think that makes a nice package. My mama told me that years and years ago. Crease everything and make it nice and flat and crisp. I'm going to um, choose some ribbon here to put on. I think I'm going to go with this one. I really think that's cute. I'm going to get that done and embellish it, and then I'll show you um, how it turns out. All right, y'all. I got this first one all done. I just tied a simple bow on it. Easy peasy. This is just some wired pretty ribbon I got. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Ten years ago. I don't know how old this stuff is. I have some stuff here from uh, Garden Ridge, y'all. That's at home. I don't even know how long it's been since they changed the name of that, but I've had that forever, too. <laughs> I'm a Christmas hoarder. Anyway, I just went ahead, full disclosure, I will not leave this um, flamingo on here because she um, would probably not even want that and it is one of my Christmas ornaments, but <laughs> I just um, put that on there for just some uh, an idea for you, but I thought that was so cute to just have the little flamingo ornament on there with the flamingo paper. So girly, so pretty. I think anybody would just love this. I feel like the packaging and the wrapping on a gift really makes it. I have a memory of my sister. Um, I'm not sure if she was in um, college, early college or late high school, but one Christmas she worked at Dillard's in um, like the wrapping department and wrapped all the gifts. Um, Dillard's is like a department store in the South. I don't even know if it's still there or not. But anyway, she would make the most beautifully wrapped packages. And for my gift that year, she had wrapped this beautiful green expensive um, department store uh, green paper and it had a beautiful green bow and a big ball green ornament 
all hanging off of it. And y'all, I don't even know what was in that gift. I have no idea what she got me that year, but it's been well over 20 years and I still remember that package. I mean, so I feel like the wrapping really does matter. So if you take time on it and, um, you know, really put your heart into it and make it nice, I think it's just nice to give a gift like that. So, okay. So that is our first little package. I'm going to do another one here in a different wrapping. Um, this is it without the, um, little ornament on it, but it's just a simple bow. I didn't go crazy because this is for, um, a little girl. So I wanted her to be able to just get into it right away, but still be pretty, but I'm going to try, um, a little, uh, another package with my other wrapping over there, pick something that kind of coordinates with this and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I got the second one done. I love this ribbon. I love how this one turned out. But these sparkles, y'all, I don't know if you can see that. They are everywhere. <laughs> so I don't know that I'll use this paper again, but I love the way it turned out. I think it looks so cute. I think it coordinates perfectly with the little flamingo package. Isn't that cute? I love for my presents to all kind of coordinate. But, um... I might choose one more wrapping here and do one more so I can have a little three group to show you. So I'll get started on that. All right, here's how my little polka dot one turned out. I just did plain old simple bows on all these because I'm not a very good bow maker and it's just easy and I think it's still pretty. So that is how that one turned out. Okay, well, that's how my presents turned out. I hope I completed the challenge, okay? <laughs> I had so much fun. I love using those pretty colors and the pretty bows for all the little girls in my family. I think they'll think that they're super fun and love them. So, anyway, thanks for following me along. I hope you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.